Good evening, and welcome to A Time to Sing, brought to you by Beulah United Methodist Church. My name is Sherry Lizarraga, and my special guest is Joel Correas. Our theme this evening is Singing with the Saints. Ephesians 5 verses 18 and 19 declare, Be filled with the Spirit. Speak to one another with psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. Sing and make music from your heart to the Lord. William Walsham Howe was educated at Oxford and came up through the ministerial ranks until he was elected Bishop of East London in 1879 and then the Bishop of Wakefield in 1888. While serving in London, he ministered in the slums for little pay and no social prestige. Instead of riding in a private coach like many other bishops, he took public transportation, working and living among the poorest people. Bishop Howe wrote his first hymn at age 13 and produced 60 hymns in his lifetime. Our first sing-along song this evening is his All Saints Day hymn, For All the Saints. Let's sing together. has been described as the preeminent gospel songwriter of the 20th century with over 800 songs, including Jesus Hold My Hand, Turn Your Radio On, I'll Meet You in the Morning, and This World is Not My Home. One day while Brumley was picking cotton on his father's farm in Oklahoma, he began humming a popular prison ballad that went like this. If I had the wings of an angel, over these prison walls I would fly. Brumley said, it suddenly dawned on me that I could use this plot for a gospel song. He began to put ideas together while still working in that cotton field, but it was an additional three years before Brumley worked out all of what would be his most famous song, I'll Fly Away. Brumley had no idea that his song would become so universally popular. I'll Fly Away is the most recorded gospel song of all time, with over 5,000 versions sung by artists from all over the world.
Chorus will sing for us, Shall We Gather at the River? feet have trod with its crystal tide forever flowing by the throne of God yes we'll gather by the river Beautiful, the beautiful river, cover with the saints by the river that flows by the throne of God. Shining river, soon our pilgrimage will cease. Soon our happy hearts will quiver with a melody. the beautiful river gather with the saints by the river that flows by the throne of God that flows by the James Milton Black was born in 1856 in South Hill, New York. He acquired an early musical education in singing and organ playing. In 1881, he moved to Pennsylvania. Giving music lessons during the week, he was a song leader, Sunday school teacher, and youth leader on Sundays. One week, a young girl did not respond when attendance was taken in his Sunday school class. The child's absence concerned Black, and after visiting her home and calling in a doctor to attend her for pneumonia, he walked home, his thoughts churning about other children who often were absent. When Black arrived at home, he went directly to the piano, and within the hour he had written the words and the music for a song that is familiar in most American churches. When the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there.
poet Samuel Bennett tells this story about our last hymn. My friend Joseph Webster was plagued with periodic depression. When he came to my office one day, I could tell at a glance that he was melancholy and said, Webster, what is the matter? Oh, it's no matter, he replied. It will be all right by and by. The idea of a hymn came to me like a flash of sunlight, and I replied, the sweet by and by, that would make a good hymn. Turning to my desk, I penned the words of the hymn as fast as I could write. I handed the words to Webster. As he read, he stepped up to the desk and began to write notes. It wasn't over 30 minutes from the time I took my pen to write the words before Webster had completed the music and we were singing the new hymn together. Thank you for joining us this evening. Good night and God bless.